Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a virtual floppy drive. This might be useful for booting Windows 3.1 and a virtual machine or something like that if you don't have a floppy drive. So what I'm first going to want to do is go to Start, uh, Control Panel, Administrative Tools and then Computer, ma Computer Manager. computer manager and then just gonna want to open that and then we're gonna go to device manager you've seen this before in many videos and then you see I already have it disabled but um, you need to go in and disable your Flo floppy drive if you have one it'll be on the floppy disk drive and you just need to, to I'll show you when the, you just need to highlight it and then click click the either disable or uninstall I recommend disable and then you're gonna want to click yes Once that's done, you're going to want to exit out of the device manager and exit out of that Windows Explorer window. Next, you're going to want to uh, download and extract virtual floppy drive software. I've forgotten which one. I've got, I've got one called VFD, so just search for that and you'll find it. So what I then need to do is go, go into the main control panel here and click run. And then you'll then need to be directed over to the driver tab. And I'm just going to uninstall mine so I can show you what you'll need to do. Um, you get you get this interface. Uh, basically what you need to do is go to browse. And then browse to the folder where you extract the files and find the VFD file. And then you need to click install in it or install it. And then you need to click start. And then it will say down here, VFD is running. Um, and then you either want to go to the drive 0 or drive 1. And then you want to go to the drive letter and you want to click change. You want to set the drive letter to A. That's why we had to disable the floppy drive to free up that drive letter. Then click OK. And it will say drive 0A has been, drive letter has been assigned. What you then need to do is select open and config. It'll It'll then ask you where you want to save the contents of the virtual floppy. So you're going to want to be clicking browse. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And even though it says open, you're going to want to type the name of the file that you're going to want to um, save. So I'm just going to name mine test2 and click open. Once that's done, you're going to want to probably choose file and then you can play around with all these different formats, but I don't recommend doing that. And you're going to want to press create. You now have a virtual floppy and you can save it, you can format it, and everything like that. Um, so, if we go over to there you can see that we've got it in there and just to prove it if I um, now put a folder in there 
and call it test um and then I go down here to wherever I've saved the test file and I click save and then it will know where to save it and then I open the drive image here and then I go to my computer my computer floppy drive and the, t the test file is there now if I um, now close the drive just to prove that it's not an actual hardware drive now if I go t to my computer um, nothing is there and um, so the virtual drive is still open but there's no image in it and yeah so that's how to create a virtual fully drive and i hope you've enjoyed the tool i used to do it was called vfd and if you search for that on youtube it will be free to download thanks for watching Please comment, rate and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.